welcome back or welcome to my channel if you haven't watched the other videos i highly recommend as uh this is video three of inktober 2023 and let's not stuff around let's get into it so we have to start this video today day six golden now with this particular prompt um i decided to do an illustration that was inspired by the golden cap or the golden halo mushrooms aka magic mushrooms or golden tops these mushies are a psychedelic mushroom that cause you to hallucinate they are grown in subtropical areas such as south and central america and are brown or light gold in color they can have a white ring around the outside as well now if you take these mushrooms the side effects include altered perception of reality and time calmness floating feeling sound hallucinations euphoria and mood swings bad side effects include paranoia psychosis numbness anxiety nausea and dizziness sweating chills suicidal thoughts panic attacks and depression although they're not considered addictive because people get a certain feeling from them people like to use them for that very reason if you have been a long-term user of these mushies you can suffer from withdrawal symptoms coming off of them similar to coming off of antidepressants which i know all about hey if you want to watch that video go back through my videos and uh, check it out and if hey if you're interested you might not be but just thought i'd throw it out there now the illustration that i decided to do for this was inspired this is well this is the vision i got that inspired me to do it i wanted to do this like snail woman with her head coming up with her hair and that but then she's got all these golden mushrooms coming out of her mouth and and all that sort of stuff this was just the thought that i um had and i decided to use my gunze tambe uh gold for this particular um illustration mix that in there and make her eyes gold and the mushrooms gold just to represent that and yeah that's basically it so i will let you watch the rest of this prompt and i will see you in uh, a minute or so for the next one Day seven is drip, and did you know that there is a disease called malahiostosis, or AKA candle bone disease or melting wax syndrome that is rare, but it's a chronic bone disease that is not hereditary, which is even more terrifying. And what it does, it attacks the bones and makes the bones of the lower limbs resemble hardened wax that has dripped down like a candle. The patient can suffer from severe pain, swelling, and limitation of knee movement. So in other words, your bone thickens with this wax type, uh, you know, structure that goes down the bone and just causes the person absolute pain. So you can just imagine like you've you got a normal bone and then it just like starts growing extra disgusting stuff down the side of the bone and looks like it's just been dripping down like a melting candle it usually only attacks one limb bone but has been reported in all limbs ribs and spine physical attributes are deformity skin and circulation problems and movement limitations if physical therapy has been performed with no effectiveness amputation is needed so the illustration that I did for this prompt was uh, something I'm not, I don't know, I'm not overly happy with this one, but um, it's also very simple, but I, I don't know, I, I, I'm a bit conflicted. I do like it, but I don't, but it's just of someone melting. Basically the description of, um, you know, the drip. <laughs> I just wanted to do someone sitting on a chair and is just like the skin and everything is just melting off this person and just dripping on the floor. And that's it that's all it was so i will let you watch the rest of this prompt and then i will see you in the final prompt in this video in a minute or so
Day eight is Toad. And if you didn't know, here in Australia, especially Queensland where I am, we have this pest the cane toad. These disgusting things were introduced to Australia from Central and South America in 1935 to be used as a control mechanism for cane beetles. What no one realised that these things would become more of a pest than the beetle it was meant to control. They are hardy and tough and have very few predators because these things shoot a white poison from glands on their back. If someone or something tries to eat these and succeeds, they will either get very 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 sick or die they come out at night and in summer it's typical for your yard to look like this some people might not like this uh, piece of information but uh, back in the day and I'm not sure if uh, kids still do it now but back in the day uh, it wasn't uh, wasn't rare to see people at night going around with hockey sticks or golf clubs um, basically clubbing these things in the yard and trying to kill them it was a thing even I did it back when I was a very very young uh, yeah person so yeah that's that's what happens and even that wouldn't kill them I'll get back to the hardy and tough thing. Let me give you an example of how these things operate. I've even witnessed this myself. You can run over these fucking things with your car. And I don't mean like driving on the road at 60 to 100 kilometers, but I just mean like backing over it with your tire and squashing it completely. It can be flat as a tack with its guts exploded out and this horrible thing will expand back up like a cartoon and suck its guts back in and just hop away. Yeah, this is what these things do. They're just off tap, like they're disgusting, they're horrible. So the illustration that I decided to do was of this disgusting, horrible toad that has decided to disguise itself as a very dapper, very uh, intelligent toad been going around poisoning people and killing things and and whatnot and it's been found out and it's been reprimanded and it's been nailed to a wall and you can see by the nails in the hands and the legs and there's a bit of blood coming out uh this was probably one of my favorite illustrations but the thing i hate about it is the fact that i did the shading around the toad and it looks like shit i hate the shading so I personally love the illustration I wish I didn't do the shading uh, because it looks absolutely awful so yeah other than that this one's probably my favorite illustration to you know so far so Um, but anyway uh, that is it that's all the prompts in this video I will be back in a few days with the rest and I'm pretty sure I've got four prompts for the next video because there's four days in between this video and the next one So yeah, if you like this kind of content, like and subscribe, dislike it, I couldn't give two shit. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.